Ah, uh, g'day, back again. Uh, just a quick video. Uh, it's famous last words. <laughs> if you get under five minutes, uh, it's going to kill a couple of burns. The main reason, I'll get to that in a minute. This is a pre 2000. I'm not even, could be even late 80s, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll show you in a moment. It's not unique, but what is unique is the actual the key. What's stamped on the key is unique for this lock. So, but anyway, um, uncommon sense. He had a, made a comment about he found a padlock of 334, um, which is one of those for anyone who's not familiar, which I think everyone is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it, what I got from his comment, he's found a 334 opened, but he wasn't sure about the the, uh, the core assembly inside. He mentioned that it, it was open. He took it apart, and there was uh, uh, like a side uh, bar type set up with three pins the only thing I put down under I would think what the big I can imagine would be the uh, Lockwood twin mate although the plug is slightly bigger than your normal 334 570 so maybe they made a special housing um, Lockwood made a special housing it's slightly bigger inside the internals uh, to fit the uh, core but yeah this slightly too wide fat to go through a standard um, kicking out of a 334 but anyway they must have a special one with the side milling obviously I'm assuming I'm not an expert on Lockwood twins by the way I'm not a dealer with them so I don't uh, have much to do with them uh, but that's the key one mate have a look at your keyway just compare it uh, see if that's the one so if, if that's the same keyway you've had the plug apart obviously so if it's sort of set up like that you know the three pins on the side and the sidebar in line six yeah if everything sort of matches up uh, mate then you've got a uh, yeah a lockwood twin in a 334 which is i've never seen one i'm sure they're out there but yeah good luck getting the key mate they're still a restricted system so you might you might be lucky and get one off ebay and uh, i think they do come up every now and again but uh, yeah so good luck with that yes but yeah more shit out Gonna have to have a bloody good clean. It's got this crap from. Um, this is a Lockwood, like cupboard type lock. Um, nothing special. Uh, it's just a spring loaded latch, uh, retracted by the key. It's no wafer. Uh, nothing spectacular. Pretty simple. It's the bedding lock. Um, yep. Yeah, Lockwood. What's significant is this, what's stamped on the. On the on the key back of the key bow, um, it's GMH W. Uh, that wasn't done by GMH. That's too clean to, for GMH because <laughs> they wouldn't be stamping that in the factory if they because I've seen their stamping work in their brothers' guts. So what I'm thinking, I mean Brian, if he's watching, I don't know, but he's more of an expert on Lockwood and. Um, vintage stuff than, than I. He's been in, in the game for shit. Like I said, he's forgotten more than I'll ever know. Yeah, um, he had was talking about 232s too, uh, which he got. He had the contract with Tom, uh, Chrysler, so or Mitsubishi Chrysler, at Tonsley Park, and uh, he used to supply the 232s from Lockwood, um, and uh, for Tonsley Park. Um, so he might know about, about these because these are GMH, General Motors Holden. They come out of the Woodville plant, I know that. But that closed down, I don't know the exact date when it closed down, in the late 80s, I think it is, early 90s. So this come from that plant. So when it closed down, the official date, this preceded it. It didn't come after it because it's come out of GMH. I know that. Um, yeah, sort of wafer. So that's just sort of a bit of a providence for that lock not so much the lock it's it's an everyday like lockwood back in the day but that's its sort of providence it's a gmhw so you're not going to get one you know be very scarce to find one of these new old stock from gmh for supplied from lockwood uh yeah it's, like i said it's a it's only a wafer very simplistic um five yeah, five disc wafer. Um, I'm just going to give the Bentley a shot. Uh, I'll probably rake this if 
possibly, but I like to a bit more enjoyable journey when you're single picking, I think, than the uh, rake them, but that's fine. These are nice and tight and clean too, so. Some of you get easy and uh, some of you take a little bit of time. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wafer, not bloody rocket science, pretty simple. simple. But so uh, yeah, so, new old stock uh, from last century for a GMH supplied by uh, Lockwood. So, anyway, we've got five minutes. Oh, I found another thing, this is probably interest. this is probably more interest for Murloc actually. So they have an old catalogue, pre-2000 catalogue from uh, Locksmith Supply Company. Um, I'll just show you some things. This is more so much Murloc, Murloc's information. It's just for his, uh, they call it an armor lock, the master. I've seen a few of those on, around, people have got them. But this is, might be of interest to Murloc, System 29. I know he has, he has a few of them, new old stock. So a bit of information there, mate. Um, Rekeable design makes it easy to install many leading door lock cylinders, including Lockwood, Corbin, Falcon, Medico, Rossman, Sergeant, Slarge, Wiser, Yale, and many others. So, I don't think I can get in there, mate, with the. Oh, yeah. Little exploded view. I don't know if you can read that or not, but. Um, yeah, so, there you go. High security steel padlock. Yeah, it probably was back in the day. That's when people were honest. They didn't attempt to body pick them, so. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, combination master. So. Anyway, that'll do. Seven minutes. It's supposed to be a short one, but that'll, that's, that's fine. But mainly for Uncommon Sense Australia. Yeah, if you've got that, mate, you've uh, scored well. But I could be wrong. Could be an asset. Um, twin. Could be, I think, Promise. But could be, I don't know. It's, uh, until I see I wouldn't know. I, like I said, I'm not an expert on high security locks. I'm not. So don't think I am, I'm not. Uh, by no means. No one is. Not out in this game anyway. Any of the locksmiths who are specialised in high security systems are the you know, specialists, but it's definitely not me. Anyway, until next time, take care and uh, yeah, goodbye.